in other news, um, talking about OGs and people from the past, uh, Drake Bell's been in the news. Yeah. And Drake Bell has been in the news because Drake Bell of Drake and Josh Nickelodeon fame. <laughs> <laughs> he <guy>. went missing. <laughs> Goodness. Drake Bell went missing today. And it was um, the second most, um, I guess, talked about news in the whole country <laughs> for the time that it was happening. Um, and the number one thing was like, Momentarily, it was Zelda because they released like a new trailer for one of those games. And then this, the thing that overtook Zelda was like that some guy sold like his um, like football team or something. Yeah. <laughs> the funny thing about this is the funny thing about this is that for a second I got confused and I was like, oh, this is developing in an interesting way because the number two news in the world was Drake Bell and the number one news was Dan Snyder. Wow. You go you know where I'm going with that, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I definitely do. Yeah, so so for a second I was like, what? You know? I was like, are they linking Dan Schneider <laughs> <laughs> to the disappearance <laughs> of Drake Bell? And so I had to look up like it can't be. And I was like, Oh, it's spelled Schneider, not Snyder. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it was it was a hilarious coincidence. So you know how you know how well obviously you do know this, but um for those listening, like a couple of years ago, Drake was uh, Drake Bell was convicted yeah. of like being a, yeah. a but grooming. He, he was a um, minor. Also, it's it, it, you know we have to put this out there that he you know um, he was dismissed. I think. Oh really? Yeah. Oh uh, wow. Um, like I I believe that he did. He like pled guilty to some of the charges, but he didn't end up like in a conviction. He didn't do like jail time for that. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. He's yeah. he's got it. He's probably on the sex offender registry, though, right? Maybe, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Go check the sex offender registry. Wouldn't that be so weird if he looked up on there and it's just Drake Bell's on there? <laughs> <laughs> and you know what the funny thing is that immediately people just started making memes about it because he disappeared. The last place he was spotted was at a high school. Dude, that, that, that's school, where like I was going with this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, that's where I was going with that. It says <laughs> his last known location is potentially the area of Mainland High School. <laughs> yeah, uh, Florida. Not, <laughs> not a good look. <laughs> he has to come out. He has to come out and be like, "What?" He has to say where he was, you know. And it's funny because, like, he probably was up to no good. You know what I'm saying? Like, he has a kid and a wife. <laughs> So there's like a there's a chance that he was like up to no good. Yeah. Like just up to no good, you know. And like <laughs> and that whoever reported him missing could have possibly been like his wife. I mean yeah. like, well, where's Drake? You know, he just disappeared. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's either you know, everybody knows, you know. It's I either what are you doing, bro? You know, where did they find him at a, like <laughs> where did they find him? You know? I don't know, man. It, it's either so I think it's one of two things it's either what you just said or he's just tr he's trying to get attention and he was like okay yeah he got he honey, did it on himself he reported himself missing yeah is that a crime probably he probably well so yeah, i guess if he, if he did I guess that if he if he did that he probably didn't tell his wife he just went missing and his wife was like oh yeah. my god drake has if he did tell his wife his wife doesn't have to testify against him yeah Oh yeah, that is that's true good for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's good for him. Yeah, she can be his accomplice and not have to like you know like be like oh he he <laughs> Drake <laughs> yeah Drake uh, put me up to this. I learned that from Better Call Saul. Yeah, I, I did too. Yep. Okay, dude, you ready for the moment of truth? I'm on the the site, the United States Department of Justice, the National oh, dude, Sex dude, Offender that's... Public Website. I'm gonna. <laughs> Do it, do it, do it. I'm dude, gonna do a little drum roll. If, all right, <laughs> brrr, I typed it. It it says search by name Drake Bell. Brrr, yeah, dude, if he shows up, I am going to absolutely lose it. Yeah. <laughs> search. Oh wait, wait. It's giving me more. Hang on, Drake Bell. Hey, I'm, I'm gonna give you his actual name because his actual name is is like Jared. Jared. His name is oh, Jared. Jared. Yeah. Okay, wait. We gotta search. It was Jared. Jared. Jared Drake Bell. Good, good and call. Jared's have a bad reputation. 
Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait. Five records. Oh, I don't see him. <laughs> Where is he? I don't see him. Five records from a national search, including all states, territories, and Indian country. For first name begins with Jared, last name begins with Bell. Jared. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple Jared Bells up here, but none. Wait, let, let's see if Drake comes up. Drake Bell. Zero results. <laughs> Maybe he's not on it. Oh, man. He must yeah, have escaped. I, I'm telling you, like, he. I'm pretty sure that he, like, I'm pretty sure that he just got away with that. Whatever mm. that was, I'm pretty sure that he, he walked, you know. Yeah. It's fucked up, man. He fucked did. up. And. And the funny thing is that as of 30 minutes ago, he tweeted. Did he really? Mr. Mr. Bell tweeted, yeah. And he said, um, he just tweeted this. He said, you leave your phone in the car and don't answer for the night. And this question mark with a laughing face. (laughs) God. Yeah, dude. Oh, my God. He. Dude, he did that on purpose, man. If you go, to, if you go to his social media, because obviously people are gonna go there to see if he replied, like I just did. It just says new album out soon. <laughs> just nonstop flight. Oh, there out we go. Soon. <laughs> there it go. Okay, there it is. There it is, dude. I'm telling you, his album's probably gonna drop tomorrow. It was a hoax. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, that was a ma- that was a massive hoax. Come on, man. Oh, yeah. Dude, there's all these but articles did, from yeah, all these did, different he sites. Cuz he Totally. That, that's the thing that you have to realize like he whether or not people listen to the album, who cares? Like today, you know, from like this whole afternoon until it got solved that like, he was like fine was number 2 trending topic in the country. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Well, he did it, you know. <laughs> he totally did it on he purpose. It. And dude, you know, he could the technically mad, mad man. he could technically sue us for saying this <laughs> so, for defamation. <laughs> so if he does, this is all a joke. Yeah, we're kid- This is all a joke, Drake Bell. Yeah, listen to this. This is all a joke. We don't mean anything we're saying. We're like playing lawyer. I I love when the people yeah. people do that all the time on YouTube. They like try to play lawyer. They're like, this is disclaimer. This is just my opinion. Like they'll have a fake account for someone, and it's like, yeah. you know, it's like Ben Wilson, and then in parentheses, not actually Ben Wilson. <laughs> it's like for yeah. legal yeah. reasons. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, that stuff's getting a little out of hand because that's obviously um, people have been getting in a lot of trouble because of that. Yeah. Personating and stuff. Yeah. 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 We used so to do it to intent, each other all the time. purposes. We used to do it to each other all the time yeah. in high school. I remember. Yeah, yeah. But for all intents and purposes, Mr. Jared, listening to this, if you're listening to this, Mr. Jared, this is all, you know, we're just playing. We don't mean anything that we're saying. And then Drake says, <laughs> you know, he's like, and I've never found that it be so simple, but I found a way, I found a way. <laughs> Success to album sales. Open (laughs) up your mind. See what's inside. (laughs) It's gonna take time (laughs) to realize. (laughs) 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 If Drake really wants to sell album copies, he should just keep re recording that (laughs) song into different versions. The country version of that song, you know, the rap version of that song, and every album has like the new, like alternative version of that song. That's a great idea. Oh, that'll drive up his. That'll drive up his sales if he does that. You know, like each album will have that song as a bonus. Yeah, it will be re-recorded. You know, with a different like stylistic like genre. Yeah, do you know who actually did that? Was uh, Afro Man? He actually yeah. did that with his "Because I Got High" song. Like on later, oh yeah, <laughs> like on later albums, he had like, like I think on one he had like a positive version of it. So it was like because I got high, but it was like positive stuff, like a positive yeah. thing happened because I got high, because I got high, yeah, because I got high. I do, I do think that's a good idea, especially for somebody like Drake. The people really only know that song from him, you know. Because uh, people really only know either that song or the song I know, which I actually did like a lot uh, at some point. I still think it's a pretty nice song. Yeah. 
What the, the wait? Not not the Drake and Josh theme song. No, not the Drake and Josh theme song. <laughs> he had another song called "I Know" that premiered like as a kid. It premiered like in the commercials of um, one of those Kids Choice Awards. <laughs> I just thought I it was, for a second. Right. I thought it was before you gave context. I thought it was hilarious that you knew a Drake Bell song. Another Drake Bell song. Yeah, I'd actually know quite a few of them, man. Oh, I kind of few Drake Bell songs. Oh, you know what? I actually do remember one from uh, Drake and Josh. It was like the yeah, girl he, next he, door. He, he, the girl next door, because he did like a handful of them in the show, and then he had guest appearances in other shows. Like he had guest appearances in Zoe One Hundred and One. Where he like would do one of his songs, the iCarly theme song. It's him and um, Miranda Cosgrove. So we actually know like a handful of Drake Bell songs. <laughs> I didn't know. That. He's responsible for. He's responsible for a lot, you know. Oh wow! I didn't know he did the iCarly theme song. That's hilarious. And he did the iCarly theme song. Him and Miranda Cosgrove did that. The, I remember the episode with the the girl next door. It was like the episode where of Drake and Josh, where he had uh, he had that girlfriend, and then the girl. The girlfriend would secretly like hook up with Josh. <laughs> yeah, she was like, she was like, really like, she was like, she was just like using Drake to get to Josh. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I remember as a kid, just uh, that episode was steamy, bro. Like, I remember as a kid watching that episode and being like, huh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to DVR that episode, man. Well, the, I, I remember that. <laughs> I remember talking to you about that, where I was just like, there was a lot of things in that show. Like, that was such a boy's show. Yeah. That's the epitome, you know. It is interesting with uh, Nickelodeon, because I think they kind of realized that, where they were like, okay, our most popular show was this. So that's, you know, for iCarly, they switched it up, because iCarly was like a really big, like, girls show. You know, two of the main characters were girls. And yeah. Freddie was just like a, um, Freddie was just like the, the um, a clown, you know, like, he was just like the bot of the joke every time. Yeah. So it was really not, you know, they really, they peaked. I think they peaked. I think that was like, they, they had something. That Sh- Dan Schneider had like a, had sticky fingers. <laughs> he had sticky, he had sticky, um, um, what is it? Uh, um, Kentucky Fried Chicken fingers, you know, because he, he really had like sauce with him because he made um, Kenan and Kel, which was great, you know, yeah, great 90s show. And it spawned the movie Good Burger, obviously. And there's people like me who have a lot of good memories with it. Oh, and then yeah. after that, it was like back to back, you know, back to back. Next thing he does, in Josh. Drake and Josh, the biggest thing, you know. And the next thing he does after that, I Carly, you know. Yeah. And simultaneously, he's doing like other, this other shows, you know, like Zoe 101, you know. Yeah. It's like, oh my God, man, that guy really had like, he really had like youth, like at the palace. <laughs> 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 He had you that the palm of his hand. Oh God! Oh God! For better, for better. Oh no! For better or worse. And, yeah, in more than one way. Oh Jesus! Yeah. For better or worse. <laughs> oh, oh man, that that you you definitely put your foot in your mouth on that one, Edward. <laughs> old generation. Old generation of kids. Oh yeah. Jesus! <laughs> Dan Harmon, or not Dan Harmon, Dan Schneider changed yeah, Dan the Harman, Dan, Dan Schneider. Schneider changed the lives of of youth all over the country. Shame of that guy, <laughs> allegedly anyway. Um, but if I if you go to Drake Bell's um like a thing on Apple Music, mm-hmm. um, which I did, and initially I I typed Jared, and I was like, oh wait, I'm looking for Drake Bell, not Jared Bell. Um. The reason why I said that you know the world's been tough on Jared is because that guy from Subway's name was Jared too. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, that's he's right. A, oh god, Jared has a good reputation. But if you go on his um, on his top songs, the number one is "I Found a Way." Number two is "Leave It All to Me," the iCarly theme song. Number three is "Makes Me Happy." So that's like a song that he played. I don't remember if it, I think it was on a Drake and Josh episode that Make Me Happy song that he played. Either that or like on a Zoe 101 song. So his top three songs are songs from Nickelodeon shows. Fourth song is like a single that he released in 2018. And his, <clears throat> but then in the top eight is, is that song I Know that I told you. Because I think a lot of people like were actually like exposed to that song. And it's a decent song from like 2008 or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then Found a Way acoustic version. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like... 
Only like he has two two found a ways. The acoustic version and the normal version. And he's like, dude, just do a bunch of different ones. Do like try to do like an old town road type of thing where you just make like a bunch of different versions of that song. Yeah. Ride that wave, man. It's a Gucci gang. Yeah, seriously, ride your one hit. Ride that one hit, boy. You know what? Uh, you I know, think, who- I, I think part of him has like has like I think there's a part of Drake Bell that um unearned i should say has like artistic integrity (laughs) or not integrity really but i think he has kind of like um integrity integrity is the wrong word i think he has kind of like um pride you know where i i I think he doesn't want to do that and it's like dude you should oh yeah 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 (laughs) (laughs) like you haven't you haven't built a career on yourself to have like pride for your career you should just make a ton of um, money out of just making I found a way again. Yeah. 